What's up, fight fans? As always, thanks for coming through. Much appreciated. A few big fights coming up um, in the next couple of weeks. Obviously, Amir Khan, Le Greco is a big one on these shores. But one, I think, very big one um, for a number of reasons, and we're going to talk about those reasons now, is Adrian Broner versus Jesse Vargas. Um, sometimes, I, I don't know if I'm too harsh on Broner. Sometimes I admit that I do go at him a lot, right? Um, and I go at him for um, the fact that every time he stepped up in a real big fight, ones he has to win, he's lost. And not that he's lost, is that he's almost been embarrassed in some of those performances, particularly that Mikey Garcia one. Mikey Garcia was either that good or Broner was that bad, and I still don't know which one it was. Um, he didn't look good against Sean Porter, and that was after he weight-drained Sean Porter, which was just highly embarrassing. And then he got beat by Marcus Maidana and was crying as he left the ring. So, look, he's lost to three very good guys. I think we can all fairly say that Mikey Garcia, Porter and Maidana are three very, very good boxers. But I thought Adrian Broner was a very, very good boxer. Again, I repeat, this is a four-weight world champion. Four-weight. Um, he hasn't beaten the person to become a four-weight world champion, but nonetheless, this is a four-weight world champion um, and a guy that I think is a very, very good boxer. You look at his amateur record, he's a very, very good amateur as well with Broner, and he clearly can box. Um, so I think my gripe against him is that this is a guy that we've talked about in terms of being that next superstar. Um, boxing is really lacking superstars, I, I genuinely believe that. And this is a guy that, puts bums on seats, people tune in for him even now. And I think he almost had the world at his feet a few years ago. There was, there was this time, maybe just prior to the Maidana loss, um, I think maybe just after you beat Gavin Reese, where everyone was thinking, we have something special on our hands. Um, and I got excited, and it's it's easy to get excited. Boxing does you don't you rarely see this in boxing nowadays, where you see someone that potentially has everything. And I'm not just talking about his boxing ability, but I'm talking about just his charisma and the way in which he talks, um, his attitude in and out of the ring. You kind of feel like it's all going to kind of boil down to create one big superstar. Everyone was rightly so comparing him to Floyd Mayweather, maybe not for his boxing ability, but the fact that he talked and act the way Floyd did. And you thought, if this guy can just put it together in the ring, we have a pay-per-view star on our hands. And he just hasn't lived up to it at all. And it's not even just a case of the fights that he's lost. Some of the fights that he's won, he's looked awful in. I didn't think he looked good against Emmanuel Taylor. Um, Carlos Molina was just an okay performance. And Granada, some people think Granada's beat him. That was prior to the Mikey Garcia performance. So I, I'm sat here not knowing how good Broner is. I, I generally don't know how good he is. One thing I do know is that his outside life doesn't help him. What this kid does outside the ring... It is is bordering on stupidity now. It's just stupidity. I was watching. He's got like a, an episode online where he's with um, Javante Davis, who's also fighting very soon. I think on the same card, and they're training together. And I, I'm still watching him, thinking this guy is just not serious. He's arguing with his sparring partners. Um, in one episode, I think it's episode two, guys. You can check out on YouTube. He's going out partying. I think is it. Is it that someone's got to rein him in. It seems like he's the, the boss in his camp, which isn't a problem if you're winning. If you're losing, you almost need an enforcer in your camp, someone that you respect and look up to. I always think of someone like a Virgil Hunter for him, someone that can just control him a bit. Because right now, this guy's he looks uncontrollable. And in Jesse Vargas, I think that he's got a guy that, if I'm honest with you, I think will beat him. I think Jesse Vargas could beat him. I watched Jesse Vargas against Pacquiao, didn't embarrass himself. Um, Timothy Bradley, those are his two losses. Again, didn't embarrass himself. Um, I don't know if you guys remember that Bradley one where he rocked Bradley right at the last second and he thought he stole the fight. He definitely didn't. But he's got good wins over Saddam Ali. Saddam Ali was unbeaten at the time and he stopped Saddam Ali. Obviously, Saddam Ali's gone on now to beat the likes of Miguel Cotto and be a 154-pound champion. So this guy can box and this guy is very serious. Broner simply isn't serious but I've said this before but finally can he step up and get a big win can he step up and get a big win I think Vargas looking at his record could be his biggest win to date if 
It's a big if. He, he takes it serious. Um, I, I'm starting to believe that. You know, I keep making excuses for Broner. I keep saying if he takes it serious, if he takes it serious. Sometimes, and I think that time is coming now where I've just got to say, this guy just doesn't have the ability. This guy just isn't as good as we think. I hope I'm wrong. Because I do believe that, you know, he's only 28. Um, if he sticks at 140, I think the 140 division is is ripe for, for the take-in. I think you've got Mikey Garcia, but there's talks about Mikey Garcia going up to 147. Then I think the 140 division could be his. But um, right now, I'm just I'm just not sure. I, I really am not sure about him. I almost feel like the money and the fame came way too soon. And, and look, he's, it was a young kid when it did come. And I think it's just gone to his head. It's just gone to his head. And it reminds me of someone else in his camp, Javante Davis. I'll do a video on Javante Davis um, maybe in a few days. Obviously, the problems he's having with Mayweather. And they just seem so similar. You know, I follow these guys on Instagram and Twitter. And I just want these guys sometimes just to come off social media Take your sport seriously, and there's a chance you guys can be superstars and earn millions. Um, right now, it just doesn't seem like that. But let's hope that we do see a good Broner, because I think he's going to need to be very good to beat Vargas. But if I had to pick one out of the two right now, I'm going for Vargas to beat Broner um, by decision. Um, because, like I said, I don't know how good Broner is, and I do know how good Vargas is. And a very good Vargas is a decent operator. A very good Broner... Boy, struggled against, like I said, Granada, struggled against Emmanuel Taylor, struggled against Molina, didn't even look good against Theo Payne. I know he stopped Theo Payne, but it wasn't a great performance. So um, we'll see. Let's see.